So, uh, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just getting a tattoo out of this old communist bunker. Mirman Jess, today we're in Koblik at the Hotel Holiday. And after a great time in Skodava, we found a bus stop, which we couldn't find our, on our own, but we talked to a local tour guide and he told us where to go, where the buses were meeting. Uh, we went there a couple days earlier to check it out. And then when we got there that day, sure enough, there was a bus there waiting for us. And after about 30 minutes, when he had enough people that he felt like the bus was full and he could take us on, he took us up to Koblik, which was only about 100 lek per person. And now we're here. And what are we doing in Koblik, you might ask? Our last host was wondering the same thing. Nobody really sets out to visit Koblik unless you're me and you're looking for an old communist bunker that has now been turned into a tattoo shop. I read about this tattoo bunker while we were doing research on Albania, and I immediately knew that that's where I had to get my next tattoo. Tattoos are a lifelong commitment, and I wanted to combine it with an incredible memory. And after some research, I finally got a hold of the man who runs a tattoo shop out of a bunker in his backyard. As we made our way into the bunker, it was such a surreal feeling. His art hung on the walls and I admired his work as I sat down for what would be a few painful minutes. And not only did I get an incredible tattoo from Ketch, but the experience is one that I will never forget. We shared stories and even a glass of rekia. We learned that everyone has a past, be it countries, people groups, or even individuals, but that doesn't mean we can't do better in the present. And that doesn't mean we can't all have a bright future. I gotta say, never did I think I'd get a tattoo in another country, nonetheless out of a bunker. Man, what could possibly be next?